As a child, Jose Hernandez was a migrant farm worker, and that hard labor fueled big dreams. He wanted to be an astronaut, and he refused to give up even as NASA turned him down nearly a dozen times. His remarkable story is now a movie. Ephraim Graham brings us this look at a million miles away. Somehow, old faded photographs paint a clear picture of Jose Hernandez's journey. From a child working in the fields of California in the 1960s and 70s to a field of dreams that launch him into space in 2009. Booster ignition and liftoff of Discovery, celebrating its 25th birthday by racking up science and supplies. Take me back to where it all began in terms of the idea that you a kid on a farm, a migrant farm worker, could go to outer space. The stars always attracted me. I was a, when I was a kid, you know, Star Trek, the first run series was coming on, Captain Kirk. And then when we would go out in the fields, we would go away from the pollution of light of the city. And it was still dark. And man, you can see constellations uh, up above it. What are stars for? What are stars for? Well, that is one tough question, sir. You know what? I think you're going to be one of those people who can actually come up with an answer to that kind of question. Hernandez's A Million Miles story is now a feature film. When I was a 10-year-old, I, I see on a black and white TV the very last Apollo mission, Apollo 17, Gene Cernan walking on the moon. And man, that's when it hit me. I said, that's what I want to be. I want to be like that guy. I want to go to space. And I told my dad, and my dad did something incredible. I mean, he only has a third grade education, but he had the wisdom to empower me to believe it. Because he told me, I think you can do it. As a 10-year-old, I never looked back as I grew up. I just add perseverance because... Uh, <laughs> You guys know the story. I got rejected by NASA not once, not twice, but 11 times. And then this, this is going to be your 11th attempt. And I appreciate your persistence, and I thank you for coming all the way down here, but I really wish you'd have saved sir, yourself the sir, airfare. Sir, sir, if I may, if I may, this is my strongest application yet, and this would be my, my 12th attempt, not my 11th. So you get rejected 11 times. Yes, what makes you get up the 12th time? <laughs> well, you know, you really want it. But the thing I always tell people is when you select something that you're going after, you know, make sure you enjoy the journey because mm -hmm. that's about 80, 90 percent of your effort. Mm -hmm. And so I was enjoying the journey. What's changed? What's different this time? I've, over the course of the last 10 years, uh, Every academic, professional, and personal decision I've made, I've made with the space program in mind. Sure. I have my master's in electrical engineering. I, uh, I'm a pilot now with over 800 hours under my belt. I have my scuba diving certificate. I just ran the San Francisco Marathon. I, wow. And I speak Russian, sir. So clearly you are not afraid uh, of hard work. What role does faith play in moving you from the farm as a little boy to what you've accomplished oh. today? A lot, a lot. You know, we, we grew up uh, going to church. A lot of people always argue with me and say, wait, wait, isn't that kind of like a contradiction in life? You know, science and religion. And I said, no, quite the contrary. I said, you know, science explains you how things work. So religion, I said, explains why things happen not how things happen, why they happen. And so it fills you spiritually as to why things happen. And so I think they go hand in hand. I've applied 12 times and yes, sir, I've, I've been on the verge of giving up after each and every rejection, but you know what, sir, here I am. So you could turn me down again, but rest assured, I'll be standing here again in a year. How does it feel to watch your story now play on screen for other people to see? It's kind of like, it's surreal. It's kind of <laughs> like an open book. It's almost like I opened my door to my house to the public and they're all in here now watching me, you know? And uh, it's good in the sense that I want 
people to see my story, to understand where I came from, such that they get empowered to say, hey, if he had it that bad and he was able to accomplish this, then why can't I accomplish my own goals? You've got children now of your own. Do you see yourself in them? A lot. <laughs> I got five kids. Yes. Uh, my oldest, uh, four weeks ago, graduated from Purdue University in aerospace engineering, PhD. Nice. I told him, why Purdue? He said, did you know that Purdue graduates the most astronauts? So that's how he told me he wants to be an astronaut. Nice. And as Jose supports his son's space dreams, he's also back on the farm, working alongside his dad in the vineyard their family owns. Ephraim Graham, CBN News, Washington. Jose, you do inspire us, and you talk about shooting for the stars. Wow, 11 rejections from NASA, and he said you've got to enjoy the journey. Obviously, there was many moments being rejected nearly a dozen times. He might not have enjoyed the moment, but great counsel for us. These journeys to get to our mission, the goals we have, it's so important to stay grounded, focused on God in the meantime, too, is a great way to pursue these goals. Looks like an excellent film. The movie A Million Miles Away is out now in selected theaters and streaming online. To find out how you can watch it, go to CBNNews.com.